At this stage, you can see that the baby is in a flex position with weight bearing occurring on the cheek. Um, this will help to develop tone in the cheeks and the face as the baby matures. Um, the baby does have an survive, a survival instinct with a ATNR reflex. Um, this is the reflex that looks like the bow and arrow position. Um, this is important because it will promote hand-eye coordination. Um, during this stage, there is no anti-gravity strength or control, so the baby is unable to lift their head up against gravity at this point. Um, as the baby does progress throughout these stages, the amount of flexion present at birth will begin to diminish. During the early stages of prone on elbows, you can see that the baby will begin to lift their head against gravity, although their chin will remain in hyperextension until about four months when the asymmetrical tonic neck reflex or ATNR will begin to integrate, um, allowing the cervical flexors to help with co-contraction so the baby will have more control over their neck. Um, during this phase, um, stabilization of the pelvis occurs. This is because as the baby begins to lift up their head, more weight is being shifted towards the pelvis um, and abdominal muscles and spinal extensor recruitment is necessary for this to occur. During this phase, you can see that the baby is more propped up onto their elbows with some supination occurring. Um, being propped up on the elbows does allow for more spinal extension, a more weight bearing to occur on the elbows. And you can see that the baby uh, is learning to find their equilibrium by tilting. Um, they're trying to find their balance during this stage with um, vestibular stimulation as well as proprioceptive feedback. And um, closer to five months, the baby will begin to reach for objects. Um, they will start to weight shift a little bit more and they may even begin to pivot on their stomach in this position. In this stage, you can see that the baby's arms are more in front of them. Um, in order for this to occur, the triceps are going to need to be activated, which allows the baby to push up off the floor and extend their spine a little bit more. Um, in doing this, the anterior thoracic muscles will begin to stretch. Um, they will begin to put more weight onto their pelvis, um, which um, causes some posterior tilt. Um, the lower extremities aren't really helping too much at this point. Um, the baby will begin to extend their arms and weight shift a little bit more. Um, and as they begin to weight shift, um, they will sometimes push back and which will eventually lead them to sustain um, a plank or a quadruped position. So around five months, you can see that the baby will begin to explore with their arms above the floor in a high guard position. The lower extremities are a little bit more involved as well with the hips and knees in extension. Um, this will allow some anterior tilt of the hip. And you can see um, that the baby will often um, alternate between the pivot prone position and prone on elbows. Um, this allows the baby to work on their scapular mobility as well as their pelvic mobility by going back and forth between that anterior and posterior tilt. At seven to nine months, the baby should be able to sustain a quadruped position. Um, to do this, they will need to be able to engage their lower extremities with some co-contraction from their hips, which they have gained from the previous phases. Um, they will often begin with a wide base of support, um, so they won't be able to move very much, but they will eventually progress to a smaller base of support, and as you can see, um, helps them to be a little bit more mobile. Um, they're able to weight shift and reach towards objects, and as they reach forward, they will begin to progress towards the crawling stage. 
So during this stage, uh, around 9 to 11 months, the baby will begin to scoot. They will crawl with the belly on the floor. They'll begin rolling. Um, they will begin to creep, which is the position demonstrated here. The trunk is off the ground with the lower extremities moving, um, as well as some contralateral trunk rotation. And eventually the baby can progress to a plantigrade creeping, which is more of like a bear walk, which will lead into the next progressions. So in this first stage of sitting progression, with the baby supported in the sitting position, the baby is unable to hold themselves up against gravity at this point, so their trunk will collapse um, forward. Um, you can see that the hands still have some grasp that hasn't integrated quite yet. Um, their pelvis will always remain perpendicular to the floor or whatever surface they are sitting on. And you can also see that they do have um, some head stabilization with the help of some cervical extensors in the neck and spine. So at around five to six months, you can see that the baby's elbows are extended and they have their palms flat on the floor. So this suggests that the hand grasp um, reflex has um, diminished. Um, you can see that their posture is a little bit better. They are they have a little bit more anti gravity control, uh, so they're working on that posture and they're developing some more neck stabilization as well as some movement in the sitting position. So at around six months, the baby is not able to assume this position by themselves, but if they are placed here. They are able to um, sit without the support of their hands on the floor. So now they're able to hold things in their hand. Um, they're in that high guard position, which helps with the trunk extension. Um, their legs are a little bit more flexed and externally rotated at the hips and knees. Um, this helps them create a wide base of support um, in order to sustain this position. In this last stage of sitting progression, their abdominal muscles um, have matured a little bit more. They have a little bit more um, pelvic control, so their base of support uh, will begin to decrease, allowing them to disassociate um, their lower extremities from their upper extremities, so they're able to move their legs in different positions. Um, they can hitch, which is demonstrated here. Um, they're able to reach up and grab things and just be a little bit more involved with their environment. Um, and around this time, um, the cervical and lumbar lordosis will begin to develop in this seated position as a result of gravity.